Uh, very good evening to all of you. Hope my voice loud and clear to everyone. Just give me a quick confirmation on the chat box. Yes. All of you. Can you hear my voice loud and clear? Okay. Yes. Uh, so just like, you know, uh, today is the first day. Today we are starting a batch. So just wait for a couple of more minutes, folks. Uh, we'll start within two to three minutes. Okay. Yeah. Just wait for a couple of minutes. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for waiting. Yes. So we'll start today's session, folks. Before starting the sessions, we have to uh, deliver you or we have to tell you today is the first day and we are starting a batch that is related with AWS, Solution Architect. Hope it is clear to everyone, right? We'll discuss about the agenda, what we will cover in upcoming days and what are the options, what we will discuss till now and what we have to understand before joining logic labs that we will discuss 
hope my uh, voice clear to everyone just give me a quick confirmation right okay and my screen also visible to everyone right yeah just give me a quick confirmation folks on the chat box yes chat box is available for you till end okay because uh, my session is depend on two way communication so definitely you have to reply whatever we are discussing or what we are learning okay yeah so just before starting today's session or today's agenda understand what we will discuss here we are discussing about solution architect course and it is depend on only one hour right same timing 8 to 9 morning now what is the feature what we will provide for the registered user we can say so first is nothing but what lifetime access okay yeah then second will provide dumps and some cv samples after completing or last session we can say definitely you will get dumps whatever little dumps are there for the certification purposes and finally we'll discuss about one small mini project so that project you can upload or you can add in your cv then apart from that from this batch we are planning to start one practitioner batch it is free from the amazon and that is depend on cloud quest and finally i'll guide you how you can go for your certifications so these are the key features what we will discuss in this four weeks or one month time period we can say okay so hope it is clear to everyone if someone's want to talk with me please you can raise your hand so we can discuss about that right yeah thank you so yeah yes shikha you can unmute yourself hi good morning yeah good morning so zubair my query is about uh, what i have done in the past mm -hmm. and now i am joining aws basically i have started my career as a cabin attendant okay. uh, it's like back in 2017 mm -hmm. and in 2019, I uh, dropped that line because of obvious reasons that COVID was hitting and travel industry was going to a lot of, you know, risks and a mm -hmm. uh, lot of uh, bad stuff. After that, I joined uh, American Express. Okay. And I'm working as a master CCP there. Taking mm -hmm. chats, taking basically chats and doing uh, customer representative thing. Mm -hmm. I have done my graduation in BA from Metri okay. College and have done uh, master's MBA mm -hmm. in HR and marketing. Okay. But that too was distance. Okay. Graduation was regular, but the MBA was uh, distance. Mm -hmm. Currently, I am working with American Express. Okay, but I am uh, inclined towards this uh, IT industry and wanting to work for software companies because my husband is also working as a software engineer, mm -hmm. and he has guided me to go for this AWS because it's uh, high end and high in demand. Yes. So, what do you think? Uh, will I be able to be the right fit for the industry, or am I just trying to you know use my luck? Because I have heard that maybe in future they might ask people who have done uh, some kind of course or studies related to IT. Is it what? Uh, actually, uh, this answer is depend on company based. For example, some companies definitely they want you have a career depend on or you have experience depend on only IT. But most okay. of the company want about the experience, uh, what we say, what knowledge you have. For example, right now we are sitting for the uh, interview and definitely mm -hmm. you have the sufficient knowledge what they want. So definitely mm -hmm. they will not ask you whatever your previous background is there or what you are working with, right? They are okay. discuss about only what you have. So what I suggest, till five days we have free sessions. No okay. charges are there, right? As okay. per, uh, yeah, we will discuss about uh, PPTs. So just uh, join 
understand if you think yes it is sufficient for you it is good for your knowledge and all definitely because we are discussing about the from basic and i don't think so uh, any company will ask you about the uh, you are from the mechanical background or we can say you are from the civil background no i am not ready to take uh, i think it is uh, not matter in it ind uh, industries okay all right so uh, will you also help us in uh, you know cracking the interviews or will you also help us uh, giving what kind of uh, interviewer might ask about the questions and stuff mm, no we are not providing any type of job assistant or job job support we can say definitely uh, while sessions are going on we'll discuss about depend on that topic which type of questions they will ask Okay. We can discuss okay. about this only, but okay. we are not providing any type of job support and any assistant. Okay, isn't there any course or any session happens only for that? No, no, we don't have right now. We don't have any type of sessions based on uh, job and all or uh, some what we say uh, seminars are going on. Maybe in August some job fair is there. It is especially only for women's. Mm -hmm. have the career gap we can say and apart from that uh, what we say regular whatever whatever they have so mm -hmm. definitely if i'll got that link so i'll discuss with my team just share with uh, all the groups we can say so mm -hmm. you will get a knowledge or idea okay okay so no specific questions for interviews right uh only we will provide you support means which type of questions they will ask based on the services okay all right yeah. and uh, will i be able to get these sessions like i guess they are recorded right all right all sessions are recorded five days totally free it is available for everyone they will upload on the youtube after mm -hmm. that whatever registered people are there they will get lms access and they have lifetime access to that portal so you can okay. go any time right okay yeah all right okay so there thank you welcome uh yes srinivas you can admit yourself yeah hi uh, hi good morning yeah good morning yeah actually i have uh, around seven years experience on middleware technologies okay. uh, currently i'm working on microsoft iis mm -hmm. uh, now i would like to switch to a cloud environment uh, like aws right so actually a uh, few days back i have joined a, uh, amazon web services course okay. in this uh, uh, logic labs mm -hmm. uh, trainer uh, by uh, sujan okay yeah uh, just last week wednesday it started okay uh, so uh, i have seen this uh, notification like uh, a solution architect uh, so my suggestion is which one is uh, better to go uh, amazon web services course or uh, solution architect uh, what are your suggestions actually both are mm. same i'll uh, say because mm. whatever mm. services we are discussing in amazon web services that is also same solution mm. architect it what we say a little bit uh, extra level of curriculum or extra level of activities we can say we will mm. discuss about little bit deep dive about the services whatever yeah, actually, services we have mm. yeah actually i have knowledge and cloud some uh, so much so uh, and now I would like to switch to this course. Is it possible mm -hmm. to switch this course instead of Amazon um, Web Services? Uh, actually, mm -hmm. I'm not able to give you the correct answer because I'm not from mm -hmm. the support team. So mm -hmm. I'll recommend just go and connect with the support team, right? So okay. mm -hmm. they will give you better idea or guide, right? They yeah. will guide okay. you in a better. I mean, way. what are your suggestions? So which one will be a better? I mean, uh, uh, web this course or... also I'll start mm -hmm. from the uh, basic level or beginner level. So again, mm. you have some days, as I told mm. you, to the Shikha. Mm. You have mm -hmm. some days, two days, three days, five days, whatever you think. Mm -hmm. If you find, yes, it is helpful, it is extra, or what mm. we say, it is different, definitely mm. you can register. I'm not saying, yes, that is correct. The, mm. That previous one is not correct. Uh, so you need to decide it, right? Yeah, I, I'm not talking about correct or wrong. <laughs> right. Just, uh, uh, so going just be with us. Thing just be with us and try to understand what we are delivering and what is the method right and mm -hmm. definitely you can decide it mm -hmm. yes oh, okay that's fine then yeah, yeah. thank you then. thank you yeah okay right so yes folks so any other if you have please raise your hand so we can discuss about it otherwise we'll start today's session not an issue okay so hope i think no one is there okay 
Thank you. So I'll start PPT. Uh, before starting today's or first session, we can say, folks, some protocols we have to understand as a part of my, uh, logic lab technologies, we can say. So this course is nothing but what? AWS Solution Architect. Okay. AWS is started two types of courses. We'll discuss about it after, uh, in upcoming slides. Okay. So first is nothing but what? Practitioner. And second one is associate level. Okay. So practitioner is not mandatory. If you want direct, you can go for the solution architect associate level course. These two types of courses is provided by the AWS. Obviously, uh, practitioner is nothing but what you need to know what is cloud, how AWS will work. Only that type of things you will understand. And in the solution architect, we will discuss about some deep dive services. For example, S3 we have. I'll give you one small example. One um, S3 services we have that is storage services. So we'll discuss here how to create that storage. And apart from that, beyond that, how we can uh, use that storage in a real time situations, we can say. Okay. So some parts are there, some policies we have to create it, some permissions we have to decide it. That we will discuss here. So every services have some deep dive. Actually, Amazon have four types of certification. We'll discuss uh, after some time. So you will get a proper idea, which is correct for you and how to move. Yeah. So obviously, uh, my name is Mohammed Zubair and it is a 156 batch. And folks, kindly note down this email ID. Okay. Because if you have any type of issues or problem related to the session, some services. So definitely we will discuss in the session. But apart from that, for example, sometimes uh, you are not getting the recordings in LMS. Or for example, your payment issues are there or any other thing apart from sessions. So definitely you need to connect with support team. So please note down this email ID support at the rate logiclabstake.com. For the every solution, just go for that or raise a ticket with the support team, definitely they will support you. And obviously we have lots of sessions. So maybe sometime they will delay. You will not get uh, your response in quick one hour, two hour, four hours, we can say, but definitely you will get your answer. Okay. Yeah. So these are the detail about company. Uh, many people know we are, uh, we are working from lots of time. Okay. So we have, Lots of knowledge about that. All the services, it is not about only AWS. Uh, we are providing multiple courses. You know about that. You will get a notification on the group. Now, next. Yeah. It is a course content. What I told you before than that, before starting a session. So I'll request to everyone kindly join or scan that QR code for the course content. And if you want to register, so this second uh, scan, scanner or second code will help you in that area. Okay. So today is the first day that is 17th of July and timing is 8 a.m. to 9. Okay. And we have four weeks and course fees is 2499. Apart from that, yeah, we have some contact number. Please take a screenshot of that uh, PPT. So definitely you can easily connect with the support team. And finally, we have some understanding, right? Some information. So that is nothing but what if you have any type of questions, issues, queries. So I'll recommend kindly go and connect with the Logic Labs team, support team. Okay. Yeah. First five session will be free to attend and from the 6th right now today is a monday so monday to friday it is free right from the next whatever six session is there from that session only registered peoples will get the access of this meet we can see and you will get a recordings also what we are discussing here okay yeah uh, and if you need to join our whatsapp group so just give me a minute i'll share that link with you 
so if someone is remain you can join that okay so yeah so to give me a minute yeah it is in chat yes you can go for that now all the sessions record recording and notes will be accessed through lms i'll upload some steps or as i told you we are discussing about some question answers so definitely whatever question answers apart from that because obviously we have only one hour we can't discuss about the services apart from that queries and question answers it's really little bit hard right so what i'll do i'll upload i'll create some pdf and that pdf will upload in lms only and it is only for the paid student or registered learners okay yeah so that is the method and apart from that we have support team that is available monday to saturday timing is 9 to 7 please make a note in between you can call to that numbers or you can send a emails to the support team so definitely they will guide you whatever query or whatever questions you have okay yeah uh, from where to next session can be joined same same timing shikha okay till 5 days we have a same link no need to go here and there after that after 5 days whatever registered uh, learners we have only the, uh, that learners will get specific link link will change after 5 days so that's why till 5 days no need to go here and there whatever link you have or just join the group you will get a notification in that group my pleasure and finally yeah we have some email ids and numbers so whatever information you need and whatever you want more uh, detail or more uh, information so kindly connect on that numbers or email id yeah so hope it is clear to everyone just give me a quick confirmation so i can understand and we will move to the today's intro part we can say okay Uh, what about others folks as i told you my session is depend on two way communication so whatever learners are join i request to everyone kindly drop a message in the chat box chat box is always available for you okay and don't say me uh, don't send direct to the uh, panelist and host just select everyone so everyone can understand yeah which type of questions you are asking and what is the options okay yeah thank you now uh, as per the trainer detail so i have couple of certifications okay i have completed solution architect then aai then accredited instructors google or we can say azure and finally uh, what will discuss about the key feature okay this type of batch yeah i'm talking about this type of batch that is cloud practitioner after completing today's session uh, not today's session uh, some sessions we can say or maybe before completing all the sessions we'll discuss about this batch how you will get free of cost it is provided by the aws and definitely you can add or you can uh, what we say uh, add in your resume or you are profile okay yeah so i am not talking about much about me because i'll show in my teachings yeah so finally we'll discuss about today's module before going to the today's module and agenda i'll ask some question to everyone why we have to go for the cloud why every company is moving to the cloud can you tell me about the uh, what do you think in the chat box or if you want you can raise your hand so i can understand yeah you are thinking about this what is the cloud yes anyone maybe because uh, cloud is very high in demand and uh, it is something everyone is asking for maybe maybe that okay and yeah not an issue that's why i told you what do you think because we are here to the learn that thing okay yeah any other or you can use the chat box 
okay no problem we'll discuss see simple what happened before the cloud on premises if we discuss about on premises uh, hope my screen also visible to everyone that is uh, diagrams right app dot diagrams yes thank you only shika is sending to the everyone rest of the participants are using for the panelist and host so i request to everyone kindly select everyone so everyone can get the answers okay yeah uh, so folks what we have to do on premises just think about it we need to start any type of business so first we will discuss about space we have to first purchase the space where we need to start our business after the space what we have to do we have to go for the infrastructure so we have to purchase server right and if we have a server so we need some network devices so for example router i am taking a small uh, one one example for better understanding and we need some storage devices where my data will reside okay yeah so we have some storage devices network devices infrastructure and definitely we need a staff also okay or we can say users to manage that thing and apart from that we need a 24 by 7 cooling system and electricity to manage this all the things 24 by 7 right and that is really difficult right now my uh, what we say business is not started but investment is too much space obviously everyone can understand how difficult in today's generation we have to go for the correct place we can say right and apart from that some servers some network devices some storage devices and to manage that thing we need a user okay that is the on premises on prem we can say but right now if we need to go with cloud so why every company is moving or migrating to the cloud just because of that structures we can say apart from that multiple benefits we have but for small understanding or basic idea you have to go with this option only uh, that's why every company is moving to the cloud right yeah so aws is saying or any cloud whatever it is azure or google they are saying when you are coming to us no need to go for the space purchasing we'll provide you the space then whatever infrastructure you want whatever network devices you want same for the storage as well as users to manage that thing everything is provided by us provided from us so no need to think about that just you can focus on your services only that's why every company is moving to the cloud okay we'll discuss about deep dive in upcoming slide just for a better idea or we can say quick understanding i'll give you this example so i'll move to the ppt yeah so that's why today is a first module and in this module we'll discuss about cloud computing what is cloud computing and what is a aws services how we can access this deployment model and if time is remain because today uh, i think we don't have that much of time but if we have a time so we'll discuss about virtualization and advantages also yeah so we'll move to the next one cloud computing as we know as a term of cloud computing important term is nothing but what internet okay yeah the net and we have two types of options internet and intranet yeah. so folks again quick question to everyone you know about what is internet and intranet internet everybody know about that okay yeah Srinivas want to talk with me yes Srinivas you can unmute yourself internet we can use worldwide anywhere okay and the intranet we are using within organization is like a private very good very good that is perfect and correct answer 
okay and to access that things we have some protocols just like tcp ip udp we'll discuss in networking what is that protocols and how to use so simple when we uh, talked about cloud computing so obviously it will work with only and only internet right we can't jump to the next option that is intranet because it is only for the organizations if you need to access that thing so what you have to do first you need to join that network then only you can access that resources right from outside you can't access intranet so we'll discuss in aws cloud that is nothing but what internet and that is also a uh, very basic examples or need of access the aws services or any cloud services that is internet if you have a internet you can connect or you can access your services okay yeah okay so hope it is clear to everyone just give me a quick confirmation on the chat box okay yeah now second thing what is virtualization so before coming to the virtualization just uh, we'll understand few things yeah now just think about it you have one server or you have one laptop i'm typing here laptop also yes okay now you purchase one system we'll discuss about what is server for the beginners we can say and we have one laptop and just think about it laptop infrastructure whatever ram we have ram is uh, 4gb okay and we have cpu that is two core and we have storage that is nothing but what 500 gb okay and you have one desktop that desktop also depend on same thing ram is 4 gb and it is only one cpu and storage is same that is nothing but what 500 gb space okay now folks one operating system is running here in this uh, server that is windows operating system and here also same in laptop also because most of the time when we are purchasing any type of uh, systems they will provide by default windows operating system right but right now for the practices we can say just just like assume you join that aws course and in aws course we will discuss about two types of operating system one is windows okay and second one we'll discuss about linux So we'll share some command with you that commands you need to compulsory practice. And apart from that, you have to learn from uh, URN also because Linux is depend on operating system. Okay. So if you need a deep dive or administrator level uh, access, or you need to know how Linux administrator will work. So definitely you have to go for the Linux course separately. Here we'll discuss some commands we can say on or some services so come to the point we have two operating system windows and linux but right now in this system windows is available in this laptop also windows is available now what is your requirement you need to learn linux to practice linux command to practice with linux services you need to install linux operating system in your laptop or in your windows system right now without changing your operating system wh whatever operating system is running right now that is windows it is possible to go and start with linux yes all of you i'll repeat my question again what is my question we have two types of operating system windows and linux now 
we have one desktop just assume that it is desktop windows with windows operating system and laptop again with windows operating system okay so what is my question you need to practice with linux command so without changing your main operating system can you install linux right you can use a chat box for yes or no yes very good shrinivas what about others okay yes thanks for giving quick confirmation may i know how okay uh, yes shrinivas you can uh, by using the uh, virtualization uh, right yes. yes very good thank you so that's why virtualization will comes to the picture before virtualization just i'll give you a small uh, option who is new in that field for them okay so what we are doing without virtualization we are installing two operating systems in same laptop but at a time we can access only one we can go for the windows or either we can start linux just we need to restart my system then when my system will start it will ask you the options operating system options you can select for the windows or you can go for the linux but we have some softwares okay that is nothing but what i'll type here what are the software names uh, can you tell me what are the software names for the virtualization i'm talking about software okay we have vmware okay yeah it is vmware or apart from that oracle box right so we have two types of uh, softwares you can install in your operating system for a, for example windows is going on in your system so what you will do you will install any one operating system from this you can go for the vmware or you can go for the oracle box it will install in your system just like you are installing ms office in your laptop or in your system and inside this software you will launch your operating system right that is a small example of virtualization right but this software virtualization will work depend or will work after the operating system or it will depend on operating system meaning of that if your operating system is working if windows system is working then only you can go for the any of this software whatever we have right but to come up from that situation we have a hardware virtualization and aws or any cloud is using same techniques that is nothing but what hardware virtualization through some techniques we can say through some services they are deciding or they are dividing your systems capacity into multiple small 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 systems we can say okay so you can see in my screen or in my ppt one image is available downside we have one computer in that computer vmware is there and inside that vm different different three operating systems are running that is nothing but what virtualization so every cloud is depend on this type of techniques they are purchasing big servers okay and through the virtualization hardware virtualization they are dividing that servers into multiple small 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 operating systems as per user needs we can say yeah so hope uh, already most of the users are know about the virtualization just i am delivering the extra things okay or who is new uh, to this course so definitely they will understand what is virtualization hope it is clear right okay so we'll move to the next slide yeah now just think about three types of modules or services any cloud we are discussing about aws 
Azure, Microsoft, or GCP. Every cloud have that three modules or three services. One is nothing but what infrastructure as a service. Second is platform as a service. And finally, third one we have that is nothing but what software as a service. So in a real time examples or some basic examples, we'll understand what is infrastructure as a service, platform as a service and software as a service. Yeah. So in front of you, one image is available, folks. That image is nothing but what? Yes, it's a pizza. If you need to go for the pizza, you are thinking to make a pizza. So we have, uh, you need a three different, different, uh, what we say, stages. First, you need a infrastructure to uh, go for the pizza cooking and all method. Then some ingredient is required based on type of pizza, veg, non-veg, whatever you want. And if you have that both things, then you will go for the third one. That is nothing but what cooking. Right. So if you are customers or users want a pizza, right. So this first, uh, whatever infrastructure you have, that is also important. After the infrastructure, you want an ingredient, we can say. And finally, if we have the both things, we can see here plus, then you can go for the cooking and your pizza will ready. Right. So every company have a three different different type or your company can go for the infrastructure as a service, platform as a service and software as a service. Any module from this three. Any stage you can go for the any type or any uh, module you can select it. I'll give you uh, in an example. What is infrastructure as a service? First module. So. Amazon is saying, if you are selecting infrastructure as a service, cloud module, first. So just think about it. You are creating or uh, you are cooking, a, uh, you are making a pizza at your home. Okay. And to make that, you need some infrastructure. It is available at your home. What you will do? You will go to the market only for this ingredient. It is for the veg or non-veg, right? So in that case, IIS will depend on infrastructure as a service. Infrastructure, no need to think about it. Already you have, just you will go for the second and third one. If you have the ingredient, you can go for the second one. So you will purchase ingredient from the market and you can again come to home and you are preparing and you are using your own, uh, what we say, table, dinings and all, and you are eating. That is nothing but what infrastructure as a service. Okay. For better understanding, I'll move to one uh, next slide. Okay. And we'll discuss four types. Yes. Infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. Before these three modules, we have another one that is on site, right? On premises, we can say. So, on premises, everything is responsibility of users. Users will understand, or users need to manage each and everything from start to end. Okay. But when we come to the first option, infrastructure as a service, just like you are preparing a pizza at home, right? So no need to think about this virtualization, server, storage, and network. Meaning of that, no need to think about your gas and whatever plates, knife is required to infrastructure. No need to think about the infrastructure because already you have and it is from some other companies, other distributions. Right. Just you will think about this part. Okay. Meaning of that, you are going to the market and you are deciding your pizza is uh, what we say, veg or non veg, whatever ingredient is required that you will purchase. Right. So you are responsible for what you want. That is first module infrastructure as a service. Now, second scenario 
uh, hope it is clear to everyone infrastructure as a service yes all of you folks may i give quick confirmation yes yes we'll discuss about don't worry shika just try to understand the first examples then we'll understand why this uh, three four uh, different different options are there okay yeah thank you now second platform as a service for understanding platform as a service same examples but scenarios is changed what do you think uh, you are not ready to uh, cooking and all what do you think uh, so instead of going for the cooking and all you will use zomato application or we can say some swiggy application okay and pizza will deliver at your home right you are not uh, making or cooking we can say you are just putting a order automatic you will get through that order you will get pizza at doorsteps you are using your home for each furnitures to uh, what we say eat that's it that is the second part platform as a service okay everything is based on uh, vendors only you are using you are uh, what we say dinings and eating okay now third thing software as a service just think about it you are not sitting at home you are not using your dinings you are planning to go to the restaurant right you are visiting to that uh, whatever shops are available based on pizza or burger okay and we are eating inside that restaurant so whatever cooking method is there that is not from your side dining is also not from your side you are using whatever things are there that is depend on vendor or we can say that is depend on uh, that person or that uh, shop who will provide you the pizza okay now just think about it where we can use that three options in our real time or in our cloud so if your company have infrastructure engineers just like you and me okay uh, shika is asking for example using some other services as paid just wait for some time shika okay yeah so for example your company is starting a services and they have infrastructure engineer just like you and me so what company will do company will select first module that is nothing but what infrastructure as a service okay so if your company is going with the first module that is infrastructure as a service so what they will get from cloud service provider and what company needs to manage so amazon microsoft or google will provide you server they provide you storage they will provide you the network and they will provide you virtualization that four things will come from the when uh, isp or cloud service provider csp we can say cloud service provider will uh, provide you these four things and they will manage these four things no need to think about that storage space uh, sorry server network and virtualization you and me as a part of infrastructure engineer we are responsible for my own operating system middleware runtime data and application right meaning of that we have a hardware part then we will decide we have a kitchen ready we can say just we have to go to the market and purchase the ingredient right and finally my uh, what we say dish is ready hope infrastructure as a service will clear to everyone right so here we will responsible means you and me responsible for operating system middleware runtime data and application okay uh, i'll explain again yeah come here and just think about it yeah first scenario on premises before starting a business company need to go for the space 
and some infrastructure part and after that what they will do they will uh, install that operating system okay operating system and after the operating system they will go for the uh, runtime means runtime is nothing but what uh, your applications or your programming applications we can say which is required to make that application or software okay and finally you need to manage that thing right so you will understand the data and finally you are deploying your application first you will purchase that thing inside that inside that system you will install your own operating system you will install whatever software is required to make a application or website that software also you need to take care you need to save your data and finally applications right entire thing is on premises but what cloud will say if you are coming to the first module infrastructure as a service so just you have to think about this four option okay so i'll type it here yeah you are responsible only for this options you are not responsible for the infrastructure for example ram is working or not working no need to take care why because infra uh, whatever service provider is there they will take care about your servers cpu it is working not working it's taken care by the aws right whatever server things are there whatever things are required inside the server everything is managed by the cloud right second storage we are using some hard disk to save my data so after one year need to change a hard disk or sometimes hard disk is not working that part also not coming from our site it will taken care by the aws right to create a network to communicate between the devices then also amazon will provide you the network and finally virtualization multiple softwares multiple operating systems you can use it in your uh, system or server this all the four things is a headache of aws right no need to think about space no need to think about servers network users and storage just think about which operating system is compulsory required to run your software and how to create application and how to add your data this all the things you have to take care this taken care by the aws in first part that is nothing but what infrastructure as a service okay yeah yeah what about others is it clear to everyone okay now second platform as a service some scenarios for example your company uh, what we say infrastructure engineer doesn't have or infrastructure engineer uh, they are not working with that you have a friend circle of only developers we can say so at that time amazon is saying you can go for the next module it is a platform as a service some services will work as a platform as a service meaning of that only user you and me is responsible for my application and my data rest of the things rest of the things is managed by cloud here only four things is managed by the cloud you need to decide which operating system is best for your application it is windows or linux you need to decide then after installing operating system in your infrastructure you need to decide which software will help you to create that application it is it is python which language you will use it is python it is javascript it is dotnet you need to decide right only 
cloud provider will provide you the hardware's infrastructure in the first module right but in the platform cloud provider is saying no need to think about operating system also automatic they will select some operating system for you no need to think middleware communication process also based on cloud service provider and run time that is also installed by the cloud provider just you have to think your application and data right that is the second one platform as a service just like we are using zomato applications we can say or swiggy applications no need to create just you need to put a order some restaurant will ready they will deliver to you right so you are using your own dinings for eating same you are using your own application own codes and data rest of the things is managed by the cloud and finally if you don't know about if you don't have any knowledge about the it so you can go for the third one that is software as a service we can say and in this software as a service everything is managed by the cloud right just like we are going to the uh, restaurant and just we are placing my order cooking dining everything is managed by that hotel persons right so hope you will get a basic idea what are the three models iis paas and saas infrastructure as a service platform as a service and software as a service so basically maximum services are depend on infrastructure as a server because we are completing after this course we are working as a infrastructure engineer right so we can go for that first level or we can suggest to our company why we have to spend lot of amount definitely in the past it is less little bit costly why because these three things operating system middleware run time is managed by the user yes so, yes in that iis and platform these three things is managed by the cloud so it is little bit costly and obviously software as a service you are not doing anything right so it is also costly as compared to the pass and as okay uh, so folks just give me a quick confirmation hope you will understand that three services infrastructure as a service platform as a service and as well as software as a service so based on the modules based on the services we'll discuss how these three things will work as a part of uh, cloud service provider or as a part of aws curriculum we can say okay yeah uh, so folks just uh, we will stop here today because time is over uh, today same time 8 o'clock i'll request to everyone kindly join on same time okay so we can discuss and we can go for the next option whatever we have yeah so thank you so much for joining have a great day yeah thank you so much welcome